Well, you know, guys, I always find it really amusing when I see these types of articles being published on the lamestream media. And I've seen this article do the rounds over the last few days. And again, today I see it in a blog and also, you know, shared on my feed. So it's continuing this huge, you know, revelation, guys. Guess what? Looks like the universe is a giant hologram, a giant mental projection, and that's what science is actually proving. And you know what really surprises me when these articles come out? Is that people actually are surprised about this information. However, they claim to be awake. And my thoughts are that when you're awake, you're actually seeking knowledge. Not just uh, regurgitating whatever's on the news and focusing only on whatever is being, you know, basically fed to the herd. You've actually got to go and seek the information. Because if you had actually gone and seek, you know, you know, sought this information and looked for it, like I know a lot of us have, you wouldn't be surprised when you see these articles. They're a joke. It's like it's really quite arrogant that they come out and they try and just dismiss hermetics, okay, and the Kabbalion. And this science is thousands of years old, tens of thousands of years old. It is our heritage. This is our information and luckily fragments of it have been kept and the seven hermetic principles are the basics. I mean, this is like you don't go through school without at least knowing the seven hermetic principles if you're actually living in reality and not fake land, not the system, not the matrix that they've designed on their flat earth science from their big bang theory that was postulated by a Catholic priest. You know, go and look up who postulated uh, the Big Bang Theory, okay? And how this theory really keeps us in the physical, our mentality in the physical. And then think to yourself, why an organisation that covets the ethereal that much, it would slaughter a million Cathars, a million humans, men, women and children, for this information to lock under the Vatican away from us, secret information, that is now being revealed to us. You know, why do you think they would have had that agenda, I wonder, to postulate such a theory? To keep people thinking of um, space in a certain way, in a physical way, if we have to get in a spaceship and travel in space with fuel and this, you know, mentality of explosions and um, this physics of just ridiculousness and when you look at this physics it's always wrong this is why they're always saying scientists are so surprised scientists couldn't believe you know don't understand why it's because it's the wrong science because when you've got the right science you don't have to guess it just all automatically makes sense but you've got to go and seek this information and so this holographic universe is well known. It's God, okay? So don't freak out, all right? You've just found God, okay? So all of you people out there that are just thinking, oh, it's just getting this, you know, IMAX movie from nothing. It just emanates from, um, um, actually, where is the projection coming from? Um, well, we're not going to think that far. Wow, it's just a 3D holographic universe. Well, guys, continue thinking through the logics of what a holographic universe means and who is projecting the thought, okay? And then you start understanding who God is, all right, and how you've been fucked over in the New Age movement, which are most of the people that are sharing this information as though they're proving here, you know, in some way, shape or form that we're creating our own reality. No, that's not what this experiment is showing at all. It's showing that it is a reality that is projected. Okay? So go and have a look at that. 
And then I would really suggest you are aware of the you know seven hermetic principles and the principle of mentalism and the all the creator okay and it's not the god that we've been sold in the church and in the religious institutions it's very much not what that storyline has led everyone to believe so Anyway, guys, I just wanted to, you know, give credit where credit's due. I'm sick of it. I mean, seriously. I never see anyone share the Kabbalion, and all these awake people that are so into all this wanting to understand everything, and you guys don't even know the basics to start with, you know? Well, how are you going to understand anything else if you don't understand the basics? And, you know, quantum physics is even in here as well, all right? That's the law of vibration. Okay, that was here a long time as you know, a long time ago as well. All right, it's all here, guys. Okay, you don't have to look to idiot establishment scientists that work for organisations with an agenda. You know, specifically naming the Antichrist. Okay, that don't want you to know about this. That's why people that were trying to preserve this information like Giordano Bruno was tortured for five years before he was burnt at the stake okay and that's why I'm not going to allow these fuckers to try and take the glory for this discovery when I'm sorry it was ours to begin with thank you okay we already know this stuff all right it's just been hidden from us and Giordano Bruno and many like him tried to tell us that and thankfully this information did survive. And so it's there for anybody ready to find, to find it and discover it. It's there. But until then I suppose you'll just be uh, seeing articles like this, you know, and thinking, wow, how amazing, and then really not understanding it any further and moving on to, you know, something else. So anyway... Um, I thought I'd break that down a little bit for you and give credit where credit's due. Well, I will uh, post all the articles underneath. And as always, peace out.